Okay guys, um, we're back for another uh, another thrifting trip. Uh, once again, I have the anonymous assistance with me. We're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we can find. So let's have a go. Okay, so okay, show me this. What is this? Oh cool, what is this actually? Oh yeah, there we go, Sadler. Made in Staffordshire, England. I mean, it's not bad considering that like it's got some damage to the gilt on top. And we don't have the sugar bowl, do we? Dang it. Okay, there's a demonstration that we have to do. <laughs> I think I broke it. I still don't know what it is. I just... It's a toilet. What goes in there? It has a hole. There's a hole in there. We have many questions. So, kind of like this. Oh, no, wait, it has a flat spot what? Here. Oh, yeah, okay, so, so if anybody knows, we have no idea what exactly this is. I, I'm thinking it's a hat form. I think it has a flat little thingy first. So is I it actually signed? Something. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No, like, no, it's just, just a frontal. Okay. It is a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. The thing I was looking at was this. Oh! There's nothing on it. It's like it's nicely painted, but I have no idea exactly. That is old. That's vintage. See, so yeah, I see that a bunch. What is this? <laughs> that kind of looks like something that you get out of Pottery Barn. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I like, have no idea what this is. Like, look, it's like it's got a little ladybug on it. That's, that's really kind of nice. Oh, that's nice. Got you something good now. So, basically, I know for a fact that this is going to be an absolute pain in the tits to ship. But I got a feeling I know exactly what it is. As far as I know, it's Czech art glass. That is beautiful. Yeah, real 1970s. And look at it, it's actually in really good shape. Like all of the, you can actually see, look at me. <laughs> Okay, we need to get a basket. I need to bring this with me. Definitely. Now we have a cart. <laughs> oh God. Remember that trend where everything was mason jars? Yeah, so if we have to put it, if we have to tolerate this shit, we have to share it with everybody else. What in the hell it is a homemade snow globe. I don't want to think about what's in that. Just, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. It might have been some kid's project, you know? Just, it shouldn't be here. Uh. Oh my God, this is like the coolest thing ever, okay? Just, just first of all, look at that face. <laughs> One night tonight. Okay, so this this is a Victorian uh, vanity bottle. Like, this is old. Oldie, 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 old. Like, you can even see, which is kind of, this is going to be kind of disgusting. Like, ugh. Or maybe it's not, it's made, if it's got plastic in it, you never know. I'm gonna take a look at it. <laughs> That's so cool though, look at it. Okay, this is really nice, but I'm pretty sure that it's Chinese art glass. So, I'm gonna leave it. The other thing is this. Oh, yeah. Peter. Super Bowl That's the price you got. Uh, seven, uh, eight dollars and eight dollars. Mm, that is expensive. expensive. Oh, look, somebody broke a lid. <sighs> That's a shame. So, that was a nice box. It's now a top of a nice box, and I'm knocking everything over here. Go me. Oh my god, just. They're napkin rings that are teapots. And I mean, look, they're modern, but just... I know, right? Okay, hold on, I actually got something written here. For Vicky, Merry Christmas, Austin? Sister Rose? Yeah, maybe. Pure One Imports. That is just... Okay, it's sad, but look at them! Oh my god, they're cute. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame they're not... Yeah, it's a shame they're not vintage, though. Oh well. Okay, fun fact, I constantly see these figures. And 
like they're kind of based on Dresden or whatever. I have never found a real one. They're mm -hmm. all just like, I don't know, Chinese knockoffs or something. This makes me incredibly uncomfortable. Oh, that is a thing. Yeah, and it's an 82 thing, not like an... So what? What is it? Oh, I see. Somebody made this. Somebody made that in 82. Ugh. Yikes. Okay, we've decided that today is the day of balls because we've got this ball and then we've got this ball, which the purpose of which is just confusing me at this point. Like, it's a pivot. Actually, that would make sense. Yeah, okay, there we go. This one, though, is the Let's see what this is. That's ridiculous. I love it. It's a little tail. But, oh, is it like a salt shaker or something? Because you see, it's got a little hole there. But Let's see if we can peel off the sticker. Let me peel off the sticker. Oh yeah, there we go. In a Peter Clisse, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's Avon. <laughs> it's Avon, it's in French. It's in French, but Avon. That's so cute, he's a little paint pig. <laughs> oh, we got bunnies. Made China bunnies. inside. The what? The, they look like tiny monks, but they're bigger on the inside. Okay, so we've graduated to <laughs> Doctor Who TARDIS mugs. Yay! Yeah. I just found this and it's just really, really cute. I wish there was two of them, but I, I don't see any more. It's such a shame. It, it has... So yeah. This is a question. Why is this $30? It has something written on it. I'm just going to lift it off. I mean, it's going to be made in India because it is brass. Mm -hmm. Very carefully peel it off of that. Yes, there, made in India. That's all that's written on it. Okay, I saw almost exactly the same one in the Valley Village yesterday. Oh, I'm so confused now. I wonder is that like the price in just in the brass or something? That's not. I mean, it's not that heavy. Weird. I will hold. What? I'm afraid that we're going to need an explanation for whatever the hell this is. Oh, the texture is really awful. What's the price on it? Turn it over. Four bucks. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing. Oh, yuck. Yeah. yeah. Some some stuff is not nice to touch. We're we're not we're not on board with it. Whereas I found this thing, which is basically like a teacup with a candle in it, and to be honest, I'm kind of here for it. I mean, I don't get why. Oh, people do it on Etsy. They, they buy a bunch of vintage teacups and put candles in them. Yeah, but is this actually a vintage teacup or is it just, you know, something else? I don't know. It's fucking confusing. Yeah, I mean, check it out. It's even got like a tag and stuff. In fragrance in English teacups. And it's painted with unpainted pattern accent and majesty with 22 color gold. That's, that's kind of nice. I, I'm... I consider this. What the hell is that? Do you think it's like an old Bible or something? Mm -hmm. oh, I got two hundred dollars. I'm so wondering what it is because really can see the. Fuck! I can't see the spine. Damn it! That's so cool. Let's see. We wandered into the suspicious artwork section. Kohler is. Here we have some kind of cheap cut glass, which is not cut very well and has been flashed and flashed red. So I'm going to put it in here with the rest of its buddies. Got my hopes up thinking it has some like nice cranberry red check stuff, but nope. Keep seeing stuff like this and I'm like, is this Scandinavian or not? And to be honest, I can't tell well enough to actually grab it. Uh, annoying. Check it out what we got here. 
yet another humidor. And I can just about see the bee under there. That's Brody. It's not a humidor. Fun times. So we're pretty sure this is a guitar box, a, a, a cigar box. We're just questioning what the hell is going on there. And what is going on with all of this? You're recording your feet. I'm recording my feet. I've done it again. I'm recording my feet. <laughs> Fantastic. This is why half the footage from the last trip or whatever was unusable. I'm, I'm doing really well. So we found this and I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, yeah, that's the... Let's just that's the weird thing avoid I was that. calling you over for. Although this is kind of cool. If a little... Oh, it's, it's our set. And a calculator. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh, I don't believe it. Okay, can you take the top? Because it's yes. totally going to fall off. Okay. Just just grab it. Okay. Thank you. Yes! Which one? Oh, yes. What did you do? <laughs> Slap that sucker back down there. It's a genie bottle. It's a genie bottle? Yes, and it's... Oh, fuck. You guys can actually see that. It, but the stopper is shattered at the top. Oh, goddamn. Okay, so... Yeah, a second. You can see there it says made in Italy, okay, and it's six bucks. This is an Empoli Genie bottle. I've wanted to get one for a while. I finally found one, it's amazing and it's really cool, mid-century, whatever, and it's... <sighs> the camera's not focusing properly and it's damaged. Uh... Back it goes. Okay, so fun fact, I think I know who this is. Um, Keith Zuckerman, 2011, something like that. I'm pretty sure that I've seen this style before in Granville Island, one of the ceramic artists down there, which is kind of cool. Their stuff is usually really expensive. Oh, wait, yeah, that's really cool. How about that? Chickens. Chickens forever. Filler and block, oh, okay. That's. There you go, that's the reason why that's expensive. This is the biggest ashtray I've ever seen. It's some kind of mark which is unreadable. But because I was kind of curious about this. Made by George and Sharon Collingwood Canada. Okay. Expensive. Okay, so this is something kind of interesting. This is actually like an ashtray, and I checked the mark underneath. It's got Japan on it, but like, like tobacco collectibles don't seem to sell at all anymore for you know whatever reason. People just don't smoke, I guess. Like, there's there's so much questionable about this. It's like you got, you know, they're completely impractical. I expected them to be plastic. That's crazy. Ball. Yeah, today is the day of balls, and that's amazing. Right? Oh my god. Okay, I um, I need this. Okay. This this is coming with us. I must I must have this. This is coming with us. Let's just put it there. I know this is an ashtray, but it's so shiny. <laughs> I actually know this one. This is Indiana glass, I think. Ooh, that's shiny as well. <laughs> Big ass heavy sandwich glass. Okay, this is kind of weird because it's actually underneath. I have no idea what this is going to be used for. It is sandwich glass. Though. So this is kind of nuts. This is like Royal Albert, but it's not fifteen dollars. They're pricing reasonably for once. So there you go. Normally the teapots in here are, or the teacups are just stupidly bad like badly priced. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that this is just gloriously Art Deco and I'm so, so upset because look at the damage to the gilt. Like, ah, uh, like, uh, that's kind of cool as well. 
That was pres Preston cut though, unfortunately. And that is blown. I think I remember seeing something like that. Uh, We go there's a little luminar set a bunch of those mid-century cut more press glass <laughs> that is um that's something i like this gloss it looks like the chair from men in black <laughs> okay as long as you're having fun i guess oh these are kind of cool Maze in, made in Korea. Interesting choice. Yeah, is it Wexford or not? I don't know. Interesting. That is definitely Wexford. And wow, what's the price on this thing? Ten bucks. Heavy. Okay, so we're we're confused about this. And it is one ninety nine. I, yeah, I just, I, I don't even know. I didn't realize that Givenchy was into that kind of stuff. When you, here we are. I, I don't think they are. Yeah. So we think this is somebody's like, it's a travel mug except it's like handmade out of clay, with a cork. Yep. Can't read that. I mean, that's a choice. I guess. Interesting. This is incredibly shiny. And Caster and then Hanushi, do, 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 282. Is it a sticker mark? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow. I'm kind of liking this. Like, I know it's going to be like made in China or something. Oh, wait, no. Okay, Japan. That is just really nice. The price we got ten dollars. Get out of here. And it's nice, but it's not that nice. Oh, hey, did you see this little? Yeah. China. Oh my God, there was something in that. I shouldn't have turned upside down. Over, it's fine. No, there was something wet. Oh. Uh. Uh. Do you want to go? Oh, uh... <laughs> we're fine. Uh. Oh god, no, I tried that once and they were again. <laughs> what? That's hard, I don't... Got even more sandwich left. See, for some reason I see this one a lot. Oh, that, yeah. This is so 70s, this kind of... Uh, that's kind of cooker. Do I need, uh, you know, to go back lunch? <laughs> Do I need to go full back lunch? Okay. Tell us in the comments if the anonymous assistant should go full bog witch and just start buying weird stuff. <laughs> like, it's, yep. it's nasty. What was done to the poor thing? Begging the question, you know that? I would actually say this, that is probably a real one. It's just, yeah, just, it's been destroyed. I don't want to find out. No. It hasn't even been destroyed. Like, the, the weather is okay. It's just really dirty. Uh, yeah, no, let's, let's avoid that. Okay, so here's something nice and interesting for you guys, alright? Because you think this is, this is like, this is, oh, it's great, look at that, it's eight bucks, okay? It's, it's, the guilt is kind of taking a bit of a beating. Check out that. Vetra Sigutio Secondo La Tecnica de Maestri di Murano, made in Italy. And I'm here to tell you this, guys, it's Saint Murano. <laughs> Because what that actually means basically is made according to the techniques of the masters of Murano in, in so maybe made in Italy, but this is pressed glass. And it's kinda nice, but that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so the anonymous assistant just found this. This is like the oldest <laughs> it's like an old vintage steam iron. 
Like, what the hell? I mean, it's like it's barely been used. Okay, so if you've ever wanted to see what, like, they're all near setter. Yeah, this looks like like 1970s, 1980s. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, that was a lot. Um, I hope you, you guys enjoy it. Thanks very much for once again joining us for whatever this is. You know, again, we'll do we'll probably do another few, and we'll see how you guys like it. Um, it's so much weird stuff in Vancouver thrift stores, I swear. Okay, take it easy.